to you welcome it's uh, Wednesday today 21st of December and obviously this last two days there's been lots of stories coming out and one of them was about Terry Hall Terry Hall is the front man for the specials and he was also in Fanboy 3 uh, and he obviously had this uh, a musician's lifestyle from an early age, based around Coventry, uh, and it's a it's a bit of a sad story, and I'll show you what's in the mainstream media story in the Sun. It is, of course, uh, an obituary because this was done after his death. So you can see there he suffered paedophilia. And alcoholism at a very young age he was abducted I believe it's 12 years old so obviously that's not a good thing to do in your life he has uh, special songs a message to you Rudy was one of the more well-known songs and of course ghost town in the years that it was done there was a lot of uh, problems in the country. There are now. But of course this is just uh, one musician. And obviously now suffered death after a short illness. So a short illness is what they say. And they have been saying that for a little while. There are a lot of um, famous people. In fact we can talk about other famous people. Such as Irene Cara, uh, who sang the song Fame and the uh, series there, and Flashdance, and she aged 63, uh, obviously dead. But when you read the actual uh, tweet that she wrote, you can see why. And yes, we are saying that there is a correlation between the two events. Anybody who is still thinking that this is benign and um, there is no correlation, there is no uh, sort of connection, you really, really need, need to wake up now because it's getting quite serious. There are too many incidents as all the sports people, footballers, famous people, musicians. There was a um, I think it was the other day, there was a sort of a, somebody made a montage of pictures, of people, all the people, world famous people that have passed, the majority of which had this uh, tagline of uh, die suddenly. Whilst we don't know for sure, because obviously they're not going to release the details now, and the reason why they probably won't release the information is they don't want you to know. But also they don't want you to know because he is a man who recently, oh, well, I'll say within the last two years, at the very beginning when the, um, you know, came out, he was a advocate for uh, saying that they were worth getting. They were safe and effective and they were anybody not getting it was going to kill their granny and you are a selfish prick basically i can't remember the exact words but him and several other people like piers morgan and of course james whale there's another story about james whale if you haven't heard it so in the beginning he was very very uh pushing the narrative and nurses to get any uh, options and mandates they wanted to be mandated he was very outspoken but of course uh, as we know those sorts of people karma comes around health issues have been compounded and he's got blood clot the idea is that they're all very vocal they were very uh, pushing the bs narrative the government guideline they were pushing that 
and they were encouraging people to get it and obviously if you didn't get it then you were selfish and uh, all the rest of the insults that we've heard over the years but this obviously is a situation that we cannot confirm 100% but the synchronicity of it and the coincidence of it does lead you to suspect that it's true even I mean you know you put one and one together and you get two now talking about um the paedophilia that he suffered age 12 and being adopted there is another story in the press that's come out um regarding Gary Glitter you, you remember Gary Glitter he's a pop star or ex-pop star uh Gary Glitter he was serving a 16 year sentence for uh, unlawful sexual intercourse with a girl under, under the age of 13 and indecent assault so this is uh he's actually serving it in uh, portland i believe it's in portland prison down on the south coast he is actually now it's here it's going to be released after eight years it's served 50 percent of his sentence and uh this is a report that he's going to be released early february 2023 um the nature of his determinant sentence means that the case won't, won't go to the parole board it seems that as soon as his sentence is over, he is free to walk out of the prison gates. They said that Glitter has kept his nose clean in prison, so his sentence will be nearly over. An offender who is convicted of it is released on strict license. Obviously, this story, uh, he was in uh, prominence in the 70s, the glam rock scene, and... Uh, He's, he fell from grace in 1999 when he admitted possessing child sexual abuse imagery, images and he got four months in jail. In 2002, he was expo expelled from Cambodia over allegations uh, of um, unspecified allegations and in March 2006, he was convicted of sexually abusing two girls aged 10 and 11 in Vietnam. He was also able to travel to Cambodia. Uh, so obviously, uh, faults in the legal system. His real name, Paul Gadd, he admitted possessing images and was sentenced to four months in 1999. Uh, he was later found guilty of abuse related to a girl aged 12, one of 13 and another under 10 years old, committed when he was at the height of his fame. One girl was younger than 10 years old when he crept into a bedroom and tried attacking her in 1975. Obviously, his lawyers lodged papers in the Court of Appeal following his conviction. Um... For abusing a string of girls uh, as young as eight uh, but the judge sentenced him uh, i have read the victim impact statements it is clear that they were all profoundly affected by your abuse of them in november 1997 when glitter went to pick up a toshiba laptop he was arrested this was bristol PC Wells, the engineer who examined the machine, had discovered images on it relating to child sexual abuse. But yes, yeah, so that's some um, story we've got related to that. And of course, there's our uh, hot news of the press coming your way soon. So have a very good day and I'll catch you later.